a chunk and a happy load. The little blue coop rolled down the hill with a beep, 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 toot, toot. This is the story of Susie, a beautiful blue coop, a sort of an autobiography. Susie sat in a big auto sales room all day long, flirting with the people passing by. And one day, a neat little man in a clean brown suit passed by. And when he saw Susie in the window, it was love at first sight. The salesman rushed up to the neat little man in the clean brown suit, and he said, Well, there she is. Isn't she a beaut? Just look at those lines. What color? What performance? I know you're going to be very happy with her. Just sign here, bud, and she's yours. So the man did, and she was his. And then the neat little man in the clean brown suit went over to Susie, and he said, Well, shall we go? So he stepped on the starter, released the brake, and they were on their way. Of course, Susie was a bit cautious at first because, well, after all, she was new, but she fitted into traffic just as smooth as anything, and she had a pretty good horn of her own, of which she was proud. When the neat little man in the clean brown suit went to work, he left Susie in a parking lot. And Susie was very excited because, well, here was a chance for her really to get into society. Meet all the big wheels and rub fenders with the best of them. Susie tried to speak to the other cars. And then a great big shiny black limousine looked coldly down its hood at Susie and said, So after that, Susie just sat in silence. And she was awfully glad when the neat little man in the clean brown suit came at the end of the day and took her back to her own cozy little garage where she could just sort of kick off her tires and loll around in her bare wheels and sleep. As the years passed, Susie's mileage rolled up and she began to show her age. Her color was fading, and she kind of developed carburetor trouble. And she was losing some of her old pep and pickup, too. Hey, quit stalling. Quit stalling. Get that junk out of the road. Get a horse. Well, Susie tried to answer back, but she was just too tired. Susie was all run down. So they hauled her into a garage for a checkup. And the man in the garage said, I'm afraid she needs a complete overhaul. But the neat little man in the clean brown suit said, No, no, what I need, I guess, is a new car. And so he bought a new car, and he left Susie where she was on the lot. And Susie looked all around at the other cars who looked a lot like Susie. And then she realized what she was, a used car. The little blue coop was a worn out coop with a worn out chuck, chuck a chuck, 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 with a worn out tooth and a worn out beat with a worn out chuck, chuck, chuck. Who would want a worn-out old coop? And do you know, nobody did. Until one day, a very tough young man in a dirty white suit came over to Susie, and he kicked her in the tires. And he poked at her hood, and he slammed her doors real hard. And he said, hey, Mac, I'll take this old blue clunk. And Susie had a new owner. And now it was back streets and dark alleys. Susie was on skid row. She was left parked out in the cold all night. She was abused, neglected. And one day, Susie even had a traffic ticket slap right smack across her windshield. And so soon she lost all her self-respect. Life was nothing but a nightmare of bent fenders and flat, blown-out tires. One dark night, as Susie sat all by herself, 
shivering on a lonely side street, a stranger stepped out of the shadows. Susie's oil ran cold. The stranger jumped in and quickly tore off down the street with her. Susie was a stolen car. Calling car 47, car 47. Watch out for stolen automobiles. Small little old beat up blue coupe. License number 4328J. That is all. That is all? Susie was on the other side of the law now. Susie was a warded, hunted thing. Chased by the police, tearing down dark alleys, skidding across car tracks, around corners on two wheels. Oh, it was awful. To end my days like this, thought Susie, I'm not a criminal. There's only one thing to do. And then as they turned crazily around a corner, Susie couldn't stand it anymore, so she closed her eyes and... (laughs) Susie had deliberately crashed into a telephone pole. A crowd gathered around and stood looking at Susie. She was a bent, battered-up old wreck. And finally a tow car came, and they hauled her away to the junkyard. Susie had come to the end of her road, and do you know, nobody wanted Susie now, not even for junk. And she just sat in the junkyard, and the seasons passed, and... She shivered in the snow and rusted in the rain. And then spring came, and two robins made a nest on Susie's hood. But Susie hardly heard their chirping. And then one day, a young boy came to the junkyard, and he was whistling. He seemed a nice young boy, and Susie looked up and smiled. Hey, mister, the boy said to the old man who ran the junkyard, What do you want for this old blue heap here? Susie pricked up her ears. But gee, mister, the boy said, I only got $12.35. She's your son, the old man said. And Susie cried because she was so happy. And then the boy and all of his friends went to work on Susie. They stripped her fenders, they chopped her old top, they cleaned her engine, and they painted her up. And you know she felt 50,000 miles younger? You know that? And she practically was. It was a miracle, that's what it was. And you know, it couldn't have happened to a nicer car. And Susie's got a new horn, too. You want to hear it? <coughs> Isn't that something? Now the little blue coop runs up the road With a zip and a zoom and a happy load The little blue coop runs down the hill With a beep, 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 toot, toot Beep, beep, toot, toot, beep, beep, toot, toot With a beep, 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 toot, toot <laughs> 